Welcome to San Francisco. Um, I got to say hello and uh, a few remarks to you guys uh, last night, so I won't overstay my welcome here to get things going. As, as we talked about last night, we have an amazing, I think, unprecedented AV Tech Day for you guys, uh, an amazing show lined up. Let me start by talking a little bit about the agenda for this morning and then after lunch. Um, this is the lineup that I was promoting uh, upstairs on 36th floor. We're going to start off with Lisa Soup here in just a moment. She'll be followed by Jim Anderson, who leads our computing and graphics business, Raj Paduri, who leads the Radio and Technologies Group, Mark Papermaster, our CTO, and then Oros Morad, who leads our Enterprise Embedded and City Custom Group. So, yes, we'll be focused on Ryzen today, but so much more when it comes to Zen. The future of AMD and amazing high performance technology. Then after lunch, we'll have our technology deep dive behind Zen, behind Ryzen, with Joe Macri, Mike Clark, and Sam Massiter. Then we'll move into the breakouts this afternoon. And then tonight, all of you will get for the first time to get hands on with Ryzen. So you're here to not only learn about Ryzen, learn about the technology, meet the people who built it. Uh, also to receive your hardware, which we are here to do, provide you guys with Ryzen samples, provide you your kit, but to get you a jump start, we're going to have a Ryzen rev up tonight, it's going to be a lot of fun, we're going to do some overclocking, do some amazing things, so you don't have to wait long to get hands on and validate and see for yourself what's going to come together on this stage today. So, it's my pleasure to introduce our CEO, Dr. Lisa Sue. Uh, in 2016, under her leadership, AMD was named a top 100 global innovator by Clarity Analytics. Uh, Lisa herself was named one of the 50 most powerful women in technology. And under her leadership, AMD was named the 2016 best company, and Lisa, the top CEO by International Investor Institutional Investor Magazine. And E Times and EDN named AD Company of the Year. Pretty impressive, but as Lisa likes to say, really, you haven't seen anything yet. So please join me in giving a resounding welcome to the stage, AD President and CEO, Dr. Lisa Su. Extremely proud of the customers who have chosen AMD as their partner. 
And it really is about creating great products to market, not just for us, but with our partners. And so if you look at game consoles, Sony PS4 Pro, Microsoft Xbox One S, if you look at the PC market and all of the innovation that was out with the Apple MacBook Pro, and then you look at HP, Dell, Lenovo, Google, all of these are people that we call our partners, and we're very, very proud of that. Now, one thing that drives all of this, if you remember one thing about AMD, what I want you to remember is high performance computing. This is the enabler of all of the product innovation that we've talked about. It defines the user experience. Whether you're a gamer, or you're a content creator, or you love VR or AR, or you're trying to solve the world's hardest problems in the data center of the cloud, or in education, or in research, it's all about high performance computing. There are so, so few companies in the world who can deliver this, and AMD is one of those companies. Now, why are PCs so cool? And yes, I'm going to say AMD loves the PC. PCs actually are the way so many people get to experience high performance computing. We are pushing those limits every day. Whether you're a gamer or a content creator or you're on social media, it's a new way of living. And it's about enabling all of that computing horsepower to an order of magnitude more people. That's what we think about when we think about high performance computing. And this is why it's so important to AMD. Now let's talk about Ryzen. You guys have heard a lot about Ryzen, and you're going to hear a lot more. But if you take a look at the path that we've been on, we started Ryzen four years ago. And it was a complete new design. We started it from scratch, we started it with a clean sheet of paper, and we said, we have an incredible amount of freedom to build the high performance CPU for tomorrow. And we wanted to build a CPU that not only served the PC market, but really went across all applications, including PCs, all the way through cloud data centers. And to do this, we put hundreds of AMD engineers at work with the idea of that goal. Just think about it. Over 2 million engineering hours optimizing everything. Processor architecture, process technology, power optimization, physical design, all of this to create what we're going to show you today. I'm super proud to show you Ryzen as we go forward. Now, we also know there's an incredible amount of market anticipation for Ryzen. Actually, the market momentum is phenomenal. I read many of the comments, whether on message boards or on Reddit or whatever. Um, sometimes I feel very low. Um, sometimes I feel a little bit hated. Um, but mostly loved. And mostly what we want to say is, look, we hear you. We acknowledge the anticipation around Ryzen. And we are really here to meet and exceed your expectations on Ryzen. <coughs> so let me start with what we achieved. You remember when we first talked about Ryzen, we said, we are going to increase the instructions per clock by 40%. That was our ambitious goal. Some people said we couldn't do it. Some people said it was a paper study. Well, I'm very proud to tell you today for the first time, we not only beat the goal, we beat it by a lot. The Ryzen performance is the You know I love these kinds of pictures. 
I can tell you over 4.8 billion transistors, over 2,000 meters of signal wiring. To me, it's gorgeous. And it represents so many hours, so many people, so many challenges overcome. And I can tell you, we're running lots and lots of these wafers. But perhaps even more exciting is I can show you rising the product. So for the first time, take a look at our rising product. This is one of the first off in the manufacturing line. You can believe we're building lots and lots of these right now. Every Ryzen processor in manufacturing will have the Ryzen logo at on the lid with an incredible amount of horsepower under the hood. What do you think about Ryzen? I think you guys are going to get some of your Ryzen this afternoon, so you can take some more pictures. Um, Now, multi-thread performance is 
very important. And we do love more quarters and more threads. But I also want to show you single thread performance, because that is also important. So if you run the same synergy demo in single thread performance, you'll see it's actually roughly a tie. So 1800x roughly ties to 6900k in terms of single thread performance. And note that this is sort of a stock system. If you run it with a fancier motherboard and with XFR and maybe with some other you know, overclocking going, you might even find your 1800X beating the 6900K. I'll let you guys try that when you demo the systems yourself. But fabulous. We're very, very excited about the 1800X. And let me wrap up the portfolio with the Ryzen 7 1700. As I said, we want to make eight core processors accessible to everyone. You're going to see some of the applications that can use all of these cores and all of these threads. So in this case, we compare the Ryzen 7 1700 versus the Core i7 7700K, the latest tabulate processor. No question that they have higher frequency, but we have more cores and more threads. And when you run that in Cinebench multi-threaded, we beat the competition by a lot. And it's true that many, many applications are actually being written for these uh, newer processors. So some applications will be able to use the multi-cores and multi-threads, some won't. But we believe that the processor of the future will really be designed to use these multi-thread capabilities. And so we love what 1700 brings to the uh, so we talked a lot about CPU benchmarks, but I want to spend some time talking about gaming. All right, you know we love gaming, you know we stand for gaming. What you're seeing here is actually a gaming demo showing the new Sniper Elite 4. And both systems are actually using our dual Radeon RX 480s and Crossfire. On the left-hand side, you see Intel 6900K. On the right-hand side, you see Ryzen 7 1800X. You can also see the uh, frames per second in the upper right there. You can see both are running about mid-70s or so. And the most important thing of this is to tell you, you want applications like this to run in 4K gaming, where the CPU can actually keep up with the GPU. And in this particular case, you can see Ryzen, along with the 6900K, <coughs> is actually running a beautiful 4K gaming experience. I think this is one of the most gorgeous games that are out there recently. And that's exactly what we set out to do. Gaming is all about the experience and all about unlocking the experience. And so having a CPU that can keep up with the best graphics cards in the industry is really what we set out to do. What do you think of Sniper Elite? Yet. 
And the competition at 71.87. So that's 10 seconds faster with the Ryzen 7 1700. And this is just a small file. Imagine what you do with large files. So depending on which conversions you run, you might get a couple of different answers. But the end result is Ryzen 7 1700 wins every single time. So with that, let me talk a little bit about ecosystem. And by the way, many of our ecosystem partners are here in the audience today, so I really want to thank them. It's been an incredible journey working with our ecosystem partners and seeing the excitement. And I could not be prouder of the AM4 ecosystem. We showed through some of these designs at CES last month, but for the end user, the most important point is you guys have choice. There's an incredible choice for the AM4 ecosystem. Every major motherboard vendor has an AM4 Ryzen platform, multiple AM4 Ryzen platforms. We will have more than 82 motherboards at launch. This is our best ecosystem ever. And for those of you who want to buy your systems pre-built, we also have a large array of options here. We have more than 19 boutique PC builders that will be available on day one of launch, and that will increase over the next 30 days to 200 different system builders worldwide that will have Ryzen-based systems. And these systems, as you know, will be absolutely gorgeous and have tremendous capability. So as we move forward, you can not only expect the boutique system builders, but over the next couple of months, you can expect every major OEM to have a gaming tower with AMD Ryzen. Again, this is the broadest ecosystem that we've had because there's tremendous pent-up demand for Ryzen. Okay, so now we've gone through products. We've gone through performance. We've gone through ecosystem. And I know everyone is wondering about Ryzen pricing. And this is actually the most fun because I get a lot of advice about what we should or shouldn't price Ryzen at. For many of you, actually, um, telling us what we should do. Um, but our focus, actually, is on the users. It's on the PC ecosystem. And when you look at the PC market today, there are just a large number of users who want a game in 4K, or they want to create and share content, <coughs> including photos and videos. Or you might even want to design your own thing, your own house, your own um, product. And you need a heck of a lot of performance to do that. But we also realize that most PC CPU buyers don't want to spend more than $500. <coughs> In fact, 99% of the people will buy CPUs less than $500. And so we had one goal in mind with Ryzen. We wanted to disrupt the PC market. We wanted to bring innovation, choice, and performance <coughs> to as many people as possible. And so this is about bringing high performance computing to an order of magnitude more people. So with that, let me talk to you about the Ryzen pricing. We start first with the 1800X. I told you this is the fastest eight-core desktop processor in the market today. We have the results to show you. Our competition is priced at $1,000. Thank you. Low power, multi-threaded, very high performance, 
46% over the 7,700K. Our competition is at 350. Thank you. 